All right, guys, we're back with another project today. What I'm gonna be doing today is turning my utility trailer into a kayak hauler that I haul eight kayaks. So basically, I use my utility trailer to uh, haul the side-by-side the -side back here. So what I wanna do is I looked all over YouTube and I've seen people turning utility trailers into kayak trailers and it requires <clears throat> a lot of welding and stuff like that. I don't have a welder. I'm a wood guy, not a metal guy. So I sat down, drew up some plans, and thought, what can I do to be able to haul eight kayaks that's easy that just about anybody can do with their trailer? And I came up with a plan. So basically, once I get into this, the whole plan of it is going to haul eight, and you'll be able to take this in and out of your trailer without doing any damage, constant damage to your trailer per se. So we're going to go ahead and get started on it. I'll show you my materials of what I've got. It's more hardware than it is lumber, but we'll, we'll start piecing it together. Just stick with me. So basically, this is what we got. I bought four of these. These are, now, my trailer has tubes as the rails. It doesn't have that angle iron, so therefore, that's why I'm doing these. But this is upside down. These are one half inch by three inch by five and a half inches wide, U-bolts. So I got those, four of those. I got four, I think these are five inch, three eighths galvanized carriage bolts. And also got four washers in the nuts. I got eight of these little eye hooks. And I think this one really didn't matter the size, but these are two and seven eighths. That's for going into the wood. Now, I got 16 of these. Lowe's didn't have the size I needed, so I got the smaller size. But anyway, now these, these do have the nuts on it. So I got 16 of those. Now, these are threaded inserts. And basically, you put this piece right here. I know I keep going off camera. You put this piece into the wood. These are going to go into the bed of the trailer. And then I've got the nuts to where I'm going to screw that into this. That way I can take it in and out over time constantly and it's, I'm going to have to keep drilling holes in my trailer. And these are by Hillman and they're 3 8 number 16. And then of course I've got the 3 8 inch bolts and I wanted the ones that was threaded all the way to the head. So I got those and I believe these are inch and a quarter long. Now I did buy 8 of those which you're going to see why but I also got one nut. And when we get to that, I'll show you why I got this one nut, because that's going to help me put those threaded nuts in there. And then, of course, my Lowe's never has everything. So I bought this to put the 4x4 post in to mount it to the deck of the trailer. You see, this one's like an adjustable where you can tighten down. They only had one. Then they had this. This is what I really wanted. So I had to do a little sacrifice. It's going to mess with my OCD, because one's different from the other. But... That is what it is. And as far as lumber, let me take you with me. I've got a two by eight by eight foot. I'm not gonna need the whole length. Two two by fours by eight foot. And then one four by four by eight foot. I'm probably gonna use four two by fours because I have two left over from a previous project right here that's full size. But anyhow, that's the lumber list and that's the hardware list. So. I'm gonna get the trailer. There's my trailer right there. So I'm gonna get my trailer, drag it over here in front of the garage, and then we're gonna start putting this together so it makes sense. Okay, I forgot to mention a couple more pieces to the puzzle here. This right here is an inch and three eighths fence posting, galvanized fence posting. So that's really not that expensive. I think it comes in 10 foot sections at Lowe's or Home Depot. And the reason mine looks so rough is I had it in a, when I had my dog kennel and took it down so that was laying behind the garage. So basically I'm gonna take and cut every one of these sections down to six foot. That way I have four six foot sections of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so I can get that done and get it out of the way. But you can cut it with a hacksaw. It's gonna take you a good minute. You can do it with an angle grinder, cut off tool. I actually have a miter saw that cuts metal. So that's what I'm gonna do it with. But it's really, it's galvanized, so it's really not that hard to cut. But let me go ahead and get this stuff done, and then we'll get to putting this thing together. All right, so I got my 4x4s four four cut. Here's my tube rails. So now what I'm going to figure out is where to put the pipe. I'm going to drill a hole through here 
so I can run that, that fence pipe post, whatever you want to call it, and that's what's going to hold the kayak. So basically, every trailer is different, but from here to here is 14 inches, and I know that's plenty of room for a kayak. So what I'll do is I'm going to go pretty much, I'll measure from here up 14 inches, and then from that mark, 14 inches, from that mark, 14 inches, and the two top ones is where I'm going to drill my holes through. You can use a drill. I'm going to use my drill press so I know it's straight. And I'm going to drill my holes through and then get them posts through there. So let's get to doing that. Oh, and I cut the post down to four foot. So it's an eight foot, four by four post. I just chopped it dead in the center in half. Now I took and, like I said, I took and measured up from the bottom. So that's... If you go from here to here, that's 28, this is 42, adding the 14 together. I used a square, drew a line all the way across. So now I'm going to measure the thickness of this and find dead center, then use, I don't know if you can see that, then I'm going to use the drill press and drill a hole through it, and then we'll be ready to go. I wanted to share this with you because I, I do it all the time. It, it's kind of stupid, but hey, it works. When you got a long piece of material, like I, I've got a small drill press, so when you got a long piece of material and you're trying to drill a straight hole, of course, especially when I do these holes on the end, it wants to teeter over here. So it's hard to hold it level while you're pulling the drill press down. So I use a jack because you don't have to prop, worry about getting the right size wood to prop it and pull it. Of course, my bit's not long enough to go all the way through. So as I drill down, I have to lift the drill press bed up. And then all I have to do is just pump the jack up to bring it back to level so it holds this in for me. But it works really good. I figured I'd share that with you. A little redneck ingenuity. What I'm gonna do now is since my carriage bolts are 3 8 of an inch, they're gonna go through. In other words, when I run, I don't know if you can see this, let me look. When I run that pipe through here, I'm gonna drill a hole through this and then run this carriage bolt through the pipe and the four x four to keep it from twisting. So I went ahead, as you can see, I went ahead and marked that. So I'm gonna drill a 3 8 hole all the way through, through this and through the other side. That way I can, once I get the pipe in there, I already have my holes and I can just, when I go to drill, I'll just be drilling through the pipe itself as well. So let me go ahead and get those done and we'll move along. So here's where the two by eights come into play. These are going to, let's see if I can show you. You see, you see the four by four post where I'm gonna anchor it dead center of the trailer. The, Two by eight is gonna go from this rail to this rail. Since I don't wanna drill into my rail, if you had angle iron, it'd be different. I don't wanna drill into that tube. I'm gonna use that U-bolt to hold that two by eight onto that rail. And it's gonna run straight across right here. And then the other one's gonna run on across the backside. So with that said, I laid it down in the trailer, found center, used a scrap piece of four by four and marked this off. So now I'm gonna drill a hole with the, that 3 8 drill bit and then get my jigsaw and I'm gonna cut this square out because basically I want that four by four post to slide through this into, into that little four by four post holder. That way it'll be anchored at the bottom and then this right here is gonna anchor it also. But once I get it through here, I'm gonna drive some wood screws, probably two on each side like that. So it'll be four holding it in there so it won't twist or move, just, just for extra support and keep it from wobbling. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill this out and try to get this thing cut with a jigsaw. So this is basically what I'm going for. As you can see, I got the squares cut where the posts are gonna slide in. Now, I just gotta get the distance right. I think I'm gonna do five feet. Well, the post, center of the post to center of the post is gonna be five feet. And then uh, I've gotta figure out how far I want to hang her. I think I'm going to do four inches on each side of the bar and then go ahead and drill and place the U-bolt in there. I'm hoping I can get by with just one U-bolt in each board, but if it wobbles, I might have to go back and put one on each end, but we'll see. Well, let me figure out how to get this thing centered and where I want it, and then we'll get the, those uh, post things on the deck and get to moving on that. Now, here's where we are now. I got the U-bolts in, and they're actually, shockingly, I mean, I can pull the whole trailer. They're not going anywhere, so that's that's going to be 
a go with just one. I've got the 4x4 post down through the center of the 2x8. And of course you can see I've got the uh, post locks or whatever you want to call it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill my holes while I got this all lined up. I'll probably put a square here to make sure or a level to make sure it's like it's supposed to be. Then I'm going to mark the holes and I'm going to insert those little threaded screw nuts or whatever you want to call them and all four of those on each one so let me go ahead and get started on that and i'll show you what it looks like once we get that done all right i got those down and i got the pipes in so doing a quick test fit and uh like i said she's pretty stout as you can see where i drilled the holes i'm gonna have to take this out to put those anchors in i think i'm still going to go ahead and do it just for extra security but now i've marked here and here and i'm gonna go ahead and take all these pipes out and drill them and put the eye bolts in now the way this thing is did, my brain was working with it anyway is i can put two kayaks in the bed of the trailer then two kayaks on top of these pieces of wood and then of course one here and here one here and here and that way you can anchor them all down now mind you it does have a little tilt to it but it ain't supposed to be pretty it's just supposed to work but uh so far so good I'm going to get all these pipes out, go ahead and drill them out and get the eye bolts in. And then as far as the wood, I'm just going to use the ones that's got the thread, not the bolts itself, where they just, the eye bolts are just screw in. So I'm going to go ahead and get all them out and start drilling. And we just about done with this thing. All right, so I finally got all these drilled out and put on here. So, of course, this is where you're going to put the kayak here. And you're going to run the ratchet strap from here to here. All I got to do now is put the wood one, the wood screw eye bolts in here and right here. And pool noodles. I bought, I forgot to tell you. I bought pool noodles at, I can't even say that, pool and noodles at Dollar General. They were a dollar a piece. And I'm going to put those around the bars so the kayaks can sit on and not get beat all to death. So anyway, I'm going to finish going to town on it then hopefully we'll be completely done here in a second all right so now all i'm doing is adding the pool noodles and just so it this wood doesn't tear up the bottom of the kayak i drill some holes zip tied this through here that way it'll stay and then i gotta finish doing those over there and then it'll be complete all right so this is what it looks like finished where you can put two on top two where the green one is two with the turquoise and then two in the bottom so it's not too bad and then again all i have to do to remove it which i did not put the screws in the bottom but all i have to do to remove it is take the u-bolts off so take four u-bolts and this whole unit will come out of the trailer and then i can use my trailer for other things so that's that you got them two goobers that's just sitting over there watching but if you got any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Like I always say, thank you for watching. Y'all have a nice day. Like and subscribe.